Hello there YouTube, this is Sibbles and Bits back at it again with another Inkbound Daily. Today's the solo daily for November 3rd. Had to make sure that I got that right. We're doing this in the morning because I was just too exhausted to do it yesterday after work. So we're doing it like, you know, just before the time ends. Um, today we are playing Weaver, going from Derelict Starship to... Proving Grounds and then up against Runestone. It's good to be playing Weaver. It's nice playing an easy class um, And there's not really much going on. We have eager foes so enemies are going to spawn all at once and then we have um, Death Scythe so we have very low health But that shouldn't be too much of a problem. We also have Icarus pots, which is always nice And we're starting with Blaze of Brigid. I'm not quite sure about that honestly but eh, it's something we might be able to burn it. no you know sorry pivot into a burn build but for the most part it's going to be killing enemies so that we can you know get our max health up because at the end of the round we need to have 50 hp with the extra combats now in dailies it's a little bit easier Well, not sure how I feel about Burnicle Gauntlets. Like, it's obviously trying to push us into Molten. And Burnicle Gauntlets gives us a good way to get that burn out there. I'm just wondering if that's good enough to actually, like, push turn one. Also, why is burn bonus binding attack damage? Like, I don't understand. They added the new multiplicative bin, bi attack bindings, which was great for stuff like Invigorate, because Invigorate was completely invalidated, and just being able to deal double damage is a lot easier, especially in cases where you get double-double, double-triple. It uh, really feels impactful. However, why would you put a multiplier bonus on an effect that doesn't increase the damage of that effect? So, burn and poison uh both do attack binding multipliers which means that they don't enhance the burn damage that they dealt but we got that because they got rid of burning heart and poison heart which was damage taken multipliers which did affect the burn and then yesterday i also got informed that someone found out that it those things still do that so I don't know personally I don't see why these should be attack binding at all there's tons of attack binding in the game it's probably the best multiplier because it multiplies with itself and getting three molten just to um, get a 30% bonus to your attacks and that's the only reason why you have it doesn't seem I don't know, <laughs> it doesn't seem, uh, like, engaging, it doesn't seem fun. Anyways, uh, we can still consider Burnethal Gauntlets, just for the purpose of, I mean, yeah, we can get 30% bonus damage. Like, that's pretty good for Constrict. Uh, also, getting some burn out there is pretty good. Um... I could also see re-rolling this, getting some physical damage. Physical damage would be quite good. Um, we could consider trying to get a shadow. I don't think we want a shadow until we finish Vigorous. There is actually, I believe, three sets of Vigorous in common, so that'd be worth fishing for. Ink Needle Compass is always precision, gives us crit chance after we liquidate it. Um, yeah, I don't know. If we're getting free burn on the nearest enemy. I feel like Burnethal Gauntlets actually might not be so bad. We'll give it a shot. It's probably the wrong move, but we'll figure it out. I definitely like Critical Threat. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Oh, geez. Um, yeah, Critical Threat's early seems decent. It's not going to help our fight one, like, at all. However... 
it's good infrastructure. Maybe we don't take that then. We re-roll here, try and get some damage. I think that we can do that. We can get away with that. Further wider, Keck. Um, Quicken Stitch might help our fight one. Yeah, it could honestly help our fight one. We could also thread everything, pull and constrict everything into the middle so that it all gets hit by Stitch. That's not good Weaver damage, though. That would assume that we have uh, four or more things, and then we have to spend the will threading four or more things, pulling them together, and then hoping that they're still close enough for uh, a quickened stitch. I... Like, I feel like that's bad, but it might just be worth taking just to... I don't know, this isn't really the time to try something different, but at the same time, why not? We'll go for it. I was hoping that that would be a Mercurial. We kind of need it. We definitely don't want to take a Tarnish Vault with all the treasure pots. This actually isn't terrible at all. Who to thunk? Okay, so I think... Like, this is awkward. Am I able to hit all four of you guys somehow? I don't think that we can. This would have been the argument for further wider. So this will hit these guys. I'm thinking... Thread. Constrict. Which is two. We pick up this power orb. We get constrict back. Constrict. Uh, thread these guys, thread these guys. Um, it's not very good. Yeah, I don't think that we're actually going to be able to get this one. Critical threads wouldn't have made much of a difference. So it's not like, you know... We bopped ourselves or something like that. I think that if we're going to get this, it has to be something a little bit more like this. Yeah. We used all of our movement. We can't get that orb. Why did you... Were you phased? Why did you take no damage? I legitimately don't know what the heck just happened there. Oh, they have the heal. That's what that buff was. Yeah, that is... Um, devastating. Oh, we're going to hit you with this. We got that orb next turn. We should be able to beat you then. Um... I really don't want to lose the perfect. Oh, okay. That was a bit upsetting. So, if we are bopping constrict for utility for stitch, we need good burst damage. Jinx is that burst damage, as far as I am concerned. We could also consider doing um, after image, but I don't think that that's the correct move here. We need to be able to blow up treasure pots, and at least Constrict will pull treasure pots together, hopefully. We just need to get to the point where we can actively like get away with doing stuff like that. Uh, I think a Verdant Sprout here is absolutely the play. And... Uh, 25 magic damage is pretty good for increasing the damage of our Jinx. It also increases the damage of our Stitch. Both seem pretty good. 
I think this is a reroll though, because I don't think that um, this is a class that can afford to give away its movement. Okay, this is Molten plus Orbs. That's a lot of stacks of burn. Gives us Molten. It's a damage multiplier. Yeah, I think I'm actually okay with that. Molten 6 makes it so that enemies no longer lose stacks over time, but instead gain stacks. It's really the 25 burn damage is the reason why you would want that. Um, Like, it's okay. If you have Infernal Cascade, obviously that like goes to the moon because you'd add seven every turn but versus like heavies they shouldn't last enough for that actually to have much impact like this seems good if you have like particularly one source of burn and you don't really have easy access to it which is like no sources of burn unless you've got a ton of burn vestiges in which case a ton of burn vestiges is going to give you a lot of sources of burn this set's so confused um like if it allowed your burn to maybe persist through boss phasing that'd be something like obviously not at 100 percent. that'd be pretty crazy i think this is still verdant sprout it gives us that's vigorous, so now we can feasibly take Shadow. It's scaling our HP even more. If we can get to Verdant 5 somehow, somehow, that'd be pretty good. Um, I think I actually do want bindings here. Could also be a Sea Breach. I don't see a Sea Breach right now that would be bad for us, besides maybe Vultures. Because we can only feasibly give four hits. Vultures would be pretty terrible. Otherwise, it's early enough. Most sea breaches are definitely worth it. Except for maybe the one where you like lose will or damage or whatever. That would be pretty terrible. I definitely don't think that we spend money here though. Thing is, Weaver... I think that most greens are better than a sea breach right now. So I'm almost willing to go to that. That may be incorrect. There's that quick and stitch again we wanted. It allows us to go wide, rack up a ton of damage. problem is that our stitch doesn't really do anything right now that makes me actually want to reduce the cooldown uh elemental threads actually doesn't seem terrible at all right now because um we gain damage multipliers versus people who are burned and so being able to easily burn everything that is of moderate health and survives a turn from us. It's probably quick and stitch, but we'll go ahead. We'll take these elemental threads. All right. I'm hoping for a good superior vault here. I'm not very confident in us being able to kill a mimic. We have a crit on constrict. When do I get this? On five or more enemies becoming threaded. Okay. Pull everything here. Pick this up. Is this technically better or is this? That's definitely looking better, but I don't think that it's technically better. Mm-mm. Sorry. 
think it honestly might just be another constrict. I think that constrict is actually currently worse. It's not worse than threat. It's barely better than threat. This is 105 damage to everything. Um, we'll have it accessible next turn. Like maybe it is worse. Oh, you're going to burn to death. Okay, never mind. Let's get you hit, because if we don't hit you... Then I want a shield. Now this is eager foes, we're fine. just trying to find a magic pixel here. Don't mind me. I don't think that there's any way that we're going to be able to get that Thonalope and something else. I also don't know how we're going to kill that Thonalope, to be perfectly honest with you guys. I think we want to be like up towards here. Go ahead and pop all these guys. Orb. That seems decent. I'm worried about this treasure pot here. I think it's going to have to go. These guys are burning to death. I don't have to attack this guy. We could thread a ton of stuff here. Get set up for um, something next turn. But that leaves a ton of slimp spawning next turn. Which is technically not good for us. Technically, we could use them. Oh, that was terrible. I guess what we can do is make sure that we hit these guys. You'll burn below 25%. We'll get some money out of it. We have to figure out this Thunnelope situation. Like this turn. <laughs> it's pretty bad. That'll mark everybody. Pull you guys in again, maybe? You're going to burn... Oh, we're fine. We want to hit you with this first. Then this. Oh, boy. That one used all of my cunning, and it's early in the morning. I don't appreciate it. T-Bolt. T-Bolt's pretty good with uh, Jinx. For three will, we can hit everything for like a ton of damage. It's also a decent skill, just by itself. Uh, I don't think that we use Cultivate well on this build, like, at all. Quicken is also another good way for us to just go ahead and get stuff off cooldown, like Constrict. Um, we get to use Jinx faster. I don't think that it's the play, though. I really don't. I think that um, Lightning Bolt's fine. We could also reroll here. We killed two Treasure Pots. I feel like we can reroll. Here I was kind of hoping that we were going to run into something like uh, Incendiary, which would really tie this build together. 
You could re-roll again. That is still not incendiary. One last time. Okay, game. We kind of threw away our single target damage. Maybe it's Grasp. Cone of Frost. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry. Cone of Frost is okay. Not sure that it's great at all here. We could go completely psycho and reroll a final time. It is really not advisable, especially when you end up with this. Like, this is pretty dog water. <laughs> um... I guess we're grabbing Cultivate. All that, just to go with the one that I wanted the least. Poison Thorn maybe would have made me want to pick um, Poison Vapors. It's a decent increase in damage. Verdant Sprouts, of course, like, pretty good. Flamio, burn on all enemies. Seems pretty good. Well... Thaumaturge actually would have been pretty good for us. I think we want Verdant, though. We're pushing for Verdant 5, I believe. So I'll take this. I'll take the Poison Thorn. Poison Thorn's probably going to get liquidated. It's the least useful. Um, we still can't liquidate anything. I'm not feeling a Sea Breach. I think... Um, a sea breach isn't bad, actually. We could we could hit up a sea breach. They really want us to be bulletproof, huh? I will tell you what. This is tempting. We have enough vigorous to eat it. Doubling this will actually keep the um, the max HP that's on here. Problem is, is that we are going to get stuck with literally three health. And I think this hits our score. I don't think this is after scoring occurs. It will also just straight up kill us. So there's that. I guess it really depends on how confident we are in... Like, 10 max HP technically heals us, gives us more HP for Vigorous. Is that going to be better than just having more HP immediately? And damage? Like... We're going to go hard. Oh, that's not supposed to heal us immediately, but I'll take it. Okay, game. All right, so we got our double death scythe at plus 18. Pretty good. We have shadow. We have vigorous, almost vigorous. Um... What am I trying to say? Vigorous 5 would be huge. We would definitely appreciate having that. Um, maybe melting a Verdant Sprout is the right idea then. Because I don't think that we necessarily need that much when we're gaining double per kill now. Also gets us closer to Verdant 5. Just keep Poison Thorn for a while. <laughs> okay. Um... I think we need... We don't have any space. I think we need money at this point. Like, another superior vault. Like, what could we possibly... Like, I guess we could get rid of Poison Thorn. Maybe get out of Burnethal Gauntlets. We kind of need Burnethal Gauntlets as it is. Yeah, just get me money. Volcano.
what is this? Glass jaw up above. Does a ton of damage. I probably should have eaten this helmet crab, but then again, it's also probably better for the next round. Let's hit you with that. Pull you a little closer. Gets rid of these guys. I don't know if I want to do that. Yeah, we're going to out heal our damage. We don't really have to worry too much about that. Um, there's probably one of these, one of these, one of these. Yeah, that's looking good. Quite happy about that. This is basically extra will. That's better than threading this enemy once. Again, this is just eager foes. We're perfectly fine. You know what? I'll bop you. Give me this. We can now move over here. Get all of these guys. This guy's auto-targeting me, though. <clears throat> this is honestly one of these. I think it might be one of these. Grab that. We're going to need it. I guess we won't need it. This is cheaper. Alright. You ready to get hit with the most damage you've ever taken in your entire life? Let's make sure to farm that. Uh, we want to hit you once, and then we'll blow you up for 800 damage. Uh, that's another beat of flame. I'm also... I'm almost not against this tarnished treasure. Maybe we should have went with Poison Vapors. This is looking like a pretty good seed for that. Is Tarnished Treasure better than Burnathal? Burnathal is a lot of burn damage. Is Tarnished Treasure better than Beat of Flame? Beat of Flame would get us closer to Orb Lord, restores HP, which would then get doubled by Vigorous Max. Um, if we somehow get verdant and then we also get max hp for that which is damage um seven on orb lord spawns an additional orb each turn i don't think that that's gonna happen um i'm sure the movement would be appreciated though and it's better single target if we can make sure that there's no other enemies around which is kind of hard during uh, mimic then we can just go ahead and get all the burn on the boss Pretty good. Maybe it honestly just replaces Poison Thorn. Poison Thorn's a burden. That's not true. I almost did it. Okay, a little bit of ordering would have helped. Let's go to Containment Security. We're not quite going to grind anything yet, because we can go to this shop. We can look here at anything we might want to grind. And I it's looking like we still just want to grind Poison Thorn or Verdant Sprout, maybe. It's probably Verdant Sprout. Grinding Verdant Sprout uh, taps are vigorous. Which just means that we can trade HP all we want, which is a little odd for um, Weaver. Yeah. Yeah, I think that that's the right play. So, we don't care about that. We could take, like, buy a Tarnished Treasure then in order to fill the kit. Or 
Or we could re-roll for our fifth Verdant. And then just uh, liquidate it later. I could see that, actually. That's probably the correct move. There's a Verdant. Also good for trading. I almost want to keep this now. See, now this is the problem. So then we just liquidate these two things. Like, we don't have any room for all this stuff. That's the main problem with, like, um, sets, in my opinion. Is it still doesn't fix the issue of there's just some vestiges that are too good to grind. I mean, we might as well get some striker out of it. So, we'll go ahead and we'll buy this guy. And there we go. And then go ahead, um... 25 movement on pickup is pretty freaking good, actually. I also like the idea of quicken stitch, but I think we're slowly not using this. If we get a certain ascension, we'll want to have a uh, quick and jinx I'm gonna try and remember that this is here yeah and we're gonna fight this boss because I don't think any of those things are actually going to like severely work for or against us here hmm That's pretty strong. I guess we're going to use this once. We can take, like, seven damage and be fine. Let's go ahead, plant this, like, somewhere around here. We can actually take more than seven damage and be fine. I'm just thinking about, um, Vigorous 5 allows us to take seven damage. But then we're going to heal after the fact. Um, oops, you're dead. That was not intentional in the slightest. I'm really concerned about the amount of damage that we're dealing to you. We got a lot of status damage, actually. If I jinx you now, you'll get there, but I don't want to jinx you. So I'm just going to farm my Vigorous on you, I guess. That's not quite there. What do we got to do to get you there? It's 375. 375, so we have to do like 90 damage. That was not correct. Well, I guess we're farming um, our death size. Let's not use any cooldowns. Leave that orb there. This is turn four, which is quite disastrous. We actually do too much damage. Hilarious. Let's move you a little bit closer if we can. Like, even closer. We're 
We're actually probably fine to do something along the lines of this. Get us a little bit more. Well, actually, we're capped on dread, so we might as well use this now. Got some controlled weaving. Let's save that for next turn. Get all that healing out of you. Is there a way to have you not die? Doesn't look like that's actually the case. Because of the bonus damage versus... Meep bap. Alright. This is fine. We have a ton of health now. It's a good damage multiplier, I think. Um, Tangle is pretty freaking good. It doesn't scale the damage. We have troubles like keeping small enemies alive anyways. Makes it good versus single target. We do want that negative one cooldown on Tangle now. I believe that was one of them, right? Um, let's go back and get that now. Oh, I don't think it was. I think it was negative one cooldown on Jinx was what we were considering. Oh no, it was here too. Okay. That's very good now. That is, hands down, like, almost better than Constrict in every conceivable way. Saves us a lot of will trying to thread everything. Um, we could also just get free will. Hmm. I don't know if we need spun threads, actually, if we have Tangle. I think Cultivated Will is probably the best thing here. Um, constricting knots is still appreciated, plus damage per thing that we have threaded. It doesn't really make up for the fact that, um, you know, we're threading things, multiple things, but at least it adds a little bit of extra damage out there. It's plus 25 versus single target, which is honestly garbage. It's, it actually is quite a garbage, uh, augment, but I'm, like, we're... <laughs> It's plus 25 versus single target. I suppose spun threads would be better versus single target than all that. Um, it's just that spun threads is kind of like not as good because of the fact that we've got other things. Cultivated will will give us at least one will every turn. What is that will going to give us? It's going to make us use spun threat. Yeah. <laughs> I tried so hard to argue my way out of spun threads there. It just can't happen. All right, I think that we are good without these three things. I mean, honestly, we might even be okay without this. I don't know, like it gives us good max health heals us so that we can trade a bit, but we can now pretty much trade for free with vigorous. I, yeah, I don't think that we need this. Our death scythes are doing that job for us. And so now in this act, we need to hit one glyph reward. But we also kind of want to grind something juicy. And we want to... We want to get more uh, vestiges. It was hard for me to walk away from that uh, that augment node, but um, again, we kind of need to like actually do this. Okay, how are we dealing with this? This is a lot of enemies. You're adding DR to like literally everything. We could almost like. Can I, like, hit this and thread everything? Yeah.
Okay. I think we're gonna be fine. be fine. I want to farm this uh, vigor. All the vigor has been farmed. And goodbye. Okay. We're getting there. Further wider probably isn't bad at this point. On pickup gain two shields. Eh. Like, that's probably good versus bosses, which we kind of need to solve for. I'm just trying to think about how we're going to solve Giannis. Okay, so here's my conundrum. I would like to get one will a turn. Easiest way to do that currently is Token of Regret. I think we need to go to this shop. <laughs> we do not have a Token of Regret. Um, We don't crit either. Let's re-roll this once. Let's reroll this twice. Cultivated Harmonies is kind of like one will a turn. It's not, though. Uh, we can get away with Shadow Book. I actually think that we can buy all this. Is that true? No, we'd be just short. We wouldn't be able to buy all of this. Stone Blossom and Cultivated Harmonies is probably the most useful for us. Cultivated Harmonies would just give us so much frickin' movement. Sorry, not movement. Uh, will. It's five will. I don't know how this is only a purple. Honestly. <laughs> like, I guess it technically won't hit thread, so we're gonna get four will a turn off of it. Like, yes, I, I will use Cultivate for free. I assure you guys. Um, but yeah, I think that this is Stone Blossom, Cultivated Harmonies, that gets us up to Burden 7. We probably liquidate. We don't need to liquidate Stone Blossom, though. It's kind of a weird thing, but... Yeah, we will take all of the health penalties. And so now... Um, take me to this Heroic Vault. Thank you. I know what you guys are thinking. Bits, what are you doing? You spent all your cash. We only need 500, baby!
Yeah, it doesn't stack another free use on uh, Thread. That's quite misfortunate. Or it does, and it goes from zero to zero. I don't know. You guys think we got enough damage here? I think we're okay. <clears throat> Anyways, let's not forget to uh, play our free broccoli. Maybe. I could see Ermong's egg. We got a grinder up here. Dunn's head, maybe. Really nothing here of use. What we could do is we could take Ermong's. Grab the Festival Shrine. Go to the next... Um, what am I trying to say? Go to the next combat. Come back after it pops. Then grind it. But it's going to grind for like plus 20% quillings after we just got our second money pot. Like that's pretty useless to be honest. Um, Dunn's head is looking the most useful here. We can afford to spend money. We've got more than enough money. Let's try and get that last Verdant, shall we? I also like the idea of Crystallarium. That's actually, like, quite nice. Liquidate this immediately. Get close to Ancient Wisdom. Yeah. Yeah, I really like that. Just increase the damage of Entwine. Seems pretty good. Inflict 10 stacks of burn to threaded enemies and detach threads. We have enough, like, well now that I think that this is okay. I don't think that it's worth the... Well, actually, it's probably worth the damage, to be honest. Since we have, like, a... Oh, wait, we're about to liquidate this. We don't actually deal that much burn damage. <laughs> um... Yeah, when else are we going to take this, honestly? The burn damage is close enough. Like, we're tanky. Inflict more burn. <laughs> Sewing stitch would allow us to use this without having to thread anything. That actually sounds kind of nice. I think we'll just go ahead and take sewing stitch. We can re-roll this if we wanted to, but... Like, that's good enough. Give me even more money than I need. Alright. Let's grind up this Crystallarium. We're going to lose a little bit of uh, magic power, but we are now close to Ancient Wisdom. I would like to see more vaults right now. Nope. Oh. Oh, a razor shade, huh? I guess we should have taken that AoE. It's enough to just straight up kill them, too. That's kind of crazy. We have a lot of HP and therefore a lot of damage right now. Um...
suppose I should have done that before I picked that up. Oh well. Okay, again, what else am I going to do with all this will? Like, this is what Jinx is here for. We'll go ahead and we'll use it. There is going to be another um, Razor Shade in this next wave here. We have two turns to beat them. They're going to start out with the dash. I think we're going to be okay. I think. Okay, now we have a limited amount of movement. And we have to somehow solve for this. Or we just literally thread everything for free. And then we bop them. Okay, I think we're okay. Like, it's alright. Thread you again. Just walk away. Honestly, why? Oop. That is actually an issue. That is why we don't just walk away. Okay, so we're actually going to take a damage penalty here. Oh, that's actually... One health lost. <laughs> so we uh, lost 30 points. <sighs> That's all my fault. Simply put. Okay. We have nothing looking good here. We could smite enemies with burner frostbite. That's something. It's not really a lot. Um, if we had the flame eel, that would be something. Making this free does nothing because then that makes our Cultivated Harmonies irrelevant. Um, plus 10 damage per stack of Dread. Gross. Let's go ahead and re-roll this. Um, neg 1 cooldown on Jinx seems pretty good, actually. I'm willing to take that. This, first let's take a look at what's up here. It is a Liquidator. We need way too late for that. Um, this is weird since we took rope burn. I don't think we want that. How can we have one curios? Oh, cultivated. Okay. Reroll me again. This is honestly terrible. Reroll me another time. There's our verdant. Also gives us some other stuff that we want. Alright, we did it! We did it. We're going to have enormous HP. Do we ever get hit without taking damage? It's a good question. Because if that's the fact, I don't think that we actually like proc this. So it might be good to grind this and get even more. We're already at max enchanted. Keck W. Um, Shadow book then? Grind Shadow Book for more um, Shadow. We could almost get to 200 Omni damage. That's an inordinate amount of damage. I think everything else here... Oh! Shadow doesn't count towards Stone Blossom. Oof! Almost got a YouTube band there. Stone Blossom, what the heck happened to you, man? So this is actually probably the worst thing for us, but I think we could take that to a normal grinder. We don't need to use a double grinder on something like this. Um...
Yeah, I don't know. Like, we're just kind of in an awkward position here where everything that we could use it on doesn't really do much for us. Isn't there a shop after this, though? There is. There is a guaranteed shop. So we at least got that going for us. Um, let's go ahead and use this blue spine cod. I don't think we need it for Lusk, but... And we have a grinder. I don't think we can afford anything to grind. Like, this is actually quite nice. Yeah, so the boss is going to give us, like, 80. So we're going to be at, like, 62. No other means of gaining income. I think that's about it, honestly. We got to go back grind something here. And so I think the most useful thing for us to grind is indeed Shadow Book. We could potentially get Shadow 5. We can heal it back. And in fact, it will give us um, max HP due to Verdant. Yeah, Vigor is going to counter it. And we're going to be able to heal back for all the damage dealt. It's actually quite good we can take oh i can't look i literally bought this okay um i guess this is decent not really a huge deal let's take cultivated shields when are we ever actually going to take that and we're gonna have just enough money at the end of the game might seem a little strange probably is a little strange I think this is how we deal with the dummies we might as well set that down We can save this orb for next turn. We don't have to use this right now. They're going to be mostly burned. We're going to take some damage. Um, that's fine. Let's just take slightly less damage if we can. Okay. We're looking good. We're honestly looking pretty good here. Um, hit this. Guess we're hitting that then this looks good orb detach crunch orb detach crunch you are burning quite a bit can we get away with not actually Guess there's only one way to find out right use all the will there we go. And then just walk out. Detach. It's looking pretty good, honestly. We could use... Disintegrate, but I don't think that that's necessary at all. Frickin' Stone Blossom, man. Okay. So if that's the case, we should have used Disintegrate because we're going to lose our business again. Unless we can somehow 
like push this? I don't think that's possible. What are we dealing? We're dealing 178. This is critting. Yeah, we should have used that um, that vulnerable potion. Or made sure that we didn't actually like take damage. Because now we're going to lose a perfect on a boss here. Which is not worth it. Oh no, we're good. Oh, because we had so much max health that we just fill it. My apologies. I am a fool. Cooldown reduced to zero on the first two uses each turn. That's kind of disgusting. I don't know if it's necessary, but it's pretty disgusting. Uh, Dreadful Jinx seems pretty good. We could reroll this, but I don't know what we're rerolling it for. So, might as well just take this. Um, I guess crop harvest is fine. Might as well get some healing and shielding out of it. Don't know if that's ever going to be useful, but we got it. Vestige Harvester. I really do not care. Get rid of that. That'll give us more than enough room to carry the two vestiges that we're getting coming up. Bad boy on cooldown. Okay, game. Is that two tuning stones in there, or is that just the angle? Kind of looks like two tuning stones. I don't think that's actually true. I can't even see their health bar. They had facing. That was actually catastrophic of me to do that. Um, I think we're going to need this now. Get you guys here, get everybody all close and stuff. Tried my best to screw that one up, though. Um, there's our other shadow. Which we can freely take. Gives us, like, a ton more damage that we don't need. Um, I don't see any reason to grab anything else there. Looking over here, we have another Cultivated Harmonies. I don't think that that actually... Like, it stacks because it would make our Jinx free. But it doesn't stack as in giving everything an additional, like, free use. Which is kind of garbo. We can't really do much of anything else with it. At least Shaheen's Shimmering will do something with the crit that we're about to gain with um, the Shocking Core Cap. And so we got a Precision 2 in there, which is something. Um, another 30 damage per stack of Dread. Hmm. I actually think that Seamless Stitch. Seamless Stitch is better than Constricting here simply because we get rid of our threads on Constricting. It actually costs us to do it. I think Seamless Stitch, though, with it doing like 1,000 damage per. Um, being able to bypass that cooldown, we can pretty much thread whatever we want wherever it is and always have controlled weaving, all that nasty business. Yeah, I think this is actually quite disgusting. I don't know how it is in the game. Weaver Supremacy, all that stuff. Um, window to Eternal Longing being here is actually quite sad. 
Like, I really wish that that uh, wasn't the case, but whatever. What are you going to do? Anyways, this has honestly been a pretty fun run here. Maxed out Verd and maxed out Figaris, which go hand in hand together. They have a lot of uh, things that go together as well. Um, we have two Dusite that are going to be near 100 at the end of the game. We have almost two, over 200. Uh, we have over 200 HP. Um, Shadow 5 that we don't care about because we get bigger. Vigor heals us for twice as much. Um, free crop harvest due to cultivated harmonies. It's honestly... Again, pretty nutty. Uh, I forgot to set this up. That's how uh, confident I was feeling, apparently. And so now we are up here. That's actually kind of a big deal. I cannot believe that I have allowed myself to do this. I'm afraid that I'm going to make him hit me. I'd kind of prefer him to hit him. Him, me, you, me, him. Well, that's what we got. Okay. Let's go ahead and sneak this guy. And then we'll go ahead and we'll sneak like, I don't know, this guy here. Gives us controlled weaving. I think we're honestly just using these two orbs just for positioning. This dude kind of has to go. And I'm kind of lacking the damage to do so. So I guess we're going to just walk back. Hit you there. Hit you with this. Hit you with this. And this. Give me this. And something kind of like that. I thought we took movement on that. I am a fool. Oh well. Uh, we're getting hit then. Ow! That makes our next skill Amulet of Floral Pleasant Stack. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Anyways. Like I said, it was a pretty fun run. We, um... It seems like in dailies, maybe it's just how I'm playing. You always end up in the same... Like, sets? Verdant is just too good. It's unfortunate on that Giannis we lost a little bit of points. I believe the max score now is um, 47,750. So yeah, just losing that, that skosh of points on taking one damage on the Giannis fight because of stuff that we did. Oh no, um, I think the Giannis we actually perfected. It was a different fight that we just like took one damage on because we screwed it up. But um, everybody's doing pretty good up here. If we wouldn't have taken that damage, though, I believe it was worth, like, what, 30 points? So then that would have been, we'd be at 350. Plus, we would have perfected the fight. So then that would have been another 10%. 
Is that right? We would have been at like 380? Hmm. That still wouldn't have put us like up here. But um, yeah, overall, I feel like we played pretty well. And um, don't know what else to talk about. If you have any feedback whatsoever, be it questions, comments, concerns, miss play alerts, be sure to put those down in the comments below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys around.